Well, I actually learned about SAI when I was in high school. Uh, and it, as a senior, I decided I really wanted to go to a college that had SAI there because I did, wasn't sure whether or not I wanted like a traditional Greek organization to be a part of that. But I knew I wanted to ha like be in an organization with music and with sisterhood. A lot of women that are in SAI are of different majors. They aren't music majors, but they're in one of the ensembles, like they play in the band or the orchestra, or they're just in the choir. And they say they were in choir in high school and they did high school all state and they were super involved, but then they are like a marketing major or something in, in, in college, but they still want music in their lives. So SAI is a perfect place to keep that without, you know, being a music major. So I think SA is a great thing because you can get leadership opportunities that you might not get elsewhere. Um, for instance, I'm the music director of SAI. So in a lot of schools, especially um, music schools that have graduate programs, undergraduates that might be interested in like conducting or directing don't really have any opportunity to get experience with that because it's all for the grad students. And so, and especially for women, it's harder because a lot of the opportunities get, go to men, we, we know that. And so SAI is a great opportunity to just get a leadership experience you wouldn't have. And also you're not working under a teacher, it's all on your own, you're all working together as a team, it's very collaborative. So it's just a really good opportunity so for that. So I actually started dance classes when I was three years old, and then I did piano at nine, and I was in choir from like, maybe 10 on, and so I've just always been doing music. And when I was in high school, I was in the Tulsa Youth Opera, so that just furthered my musical endeavors even more, and here I am, a music major now. <laughs>